Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona and I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online coach, personal trainer and a bodybuilder. Games are getting pretty fucking sweet now, aren't they? Look at that chest. It's because uh, my weights have come exciting times. So, so we're going to do an ambling read reaction, but before we get into it, there's just some things that I want to talk about. As you are aware, I have changed the style of my reactions in recent times because I was recognizing that some of the things that I was saying it wasn't constructed to the conversation that I was trying to have. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to educate people on health and fitness. And I mostly use people like Amber and Reed and Chantal as a talking point for people who are struggling with obesity, things that they can do, recognizing flaws in their approaches and their mindset, how you can change. But I don't only react to them. I react to Freddie the Banana Girl. I react to Dr. Dre. I react to Stephanie Bottomore. I react to quite a lot of different people. And trust me, my highest viewed video is actually a Dr. Dre video. So part of the reason I wanted to change my tune is because I started to wake up to the problems within Hadea Nation and the hypocrisy that's happening, the, the double standards, one rule for you, another rule for me. It's okay for me to be morbidly obese and have all the excuses in the world like not having a gym. Besides that point, what started happening is, is that I'm an adult. I watch YouTube. I have a good sense of humor. I watch some channels that are parody channels. Great example, a wonderful creator called Kate Winslet. She does these little parodies and they're really funny. She does it really well. She picks good music and the edits are just funny. They're not malicious, they're just funny. There was a video where I rephrased a joke that she made and I put laughing face emojis about, or about underneath it. The joke wasn't even my joke. The joke was her joke and Queen of Hate the Nation herself, Miss Charlie Gold, decided that, apparently, <sighs> Chicago Transformation, I can't find her on Twitter. That's because I'm not on Twitter. I have Instagram and I'm on here. If you've got something to say to me, why not make a video or drop it in my comments down below. Uh, has a little fucking mouth lately. We may not agree on certain things, but I stayed respectful. Calling love for free spirit a dollar store Sith. Stop playing before I start dragging you like the dog-faced bastard hound you are. Now, the fact that she has to insult me on my appearance means she's lost an argument. I can, I can assure you that I don't need to resort to tactics like that. I'm not even gonna talk shit about her here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enlighten you on information that's out there and you, as a viewer, should go and watch it, should go and read some things and then make your own decision on what kind of wholesome person she is. First of all, I can say whatever the fuck I want on whosoever fucking channel I want. You're not my mom, you're not my boss. We're not friends, we never spoke in DMs. So I can do what I want. I can look at whosoever channel I want. You do not control me. You may control other people, you do not control me. You never have. You shouted me out. Thank you, you gave me a shout out. I didn't ask for it. I was never in your fucking Twitter. I was never in your DMs. I never tagged you in anything. It may have happened once or twice that I liked to tweet. You were the one that was up in my business, not the other way around. I never really cared for your content. I think you're quite boring, quite frankly. You don't, you don't have anything to say. You sit in silence for three, four minutes with a stink face on. Then, basically somebody pointed out and she's saying that it's because I'm shading reaction channels for the same thing she commented here. That's why. I'm not really sure what she means by that. Because, yes, I have provided some critical commentary and yes, I've said some things that are inappropriate, but I've addressed that several times. I have the ability to reflect on myself and know when I'm doing things wrong because guess what? I know I'm not perfect. Obviously, there's all this thing. The gaining ground went through a lot more stuff in detail. Go and check his live stream. The man's not lying. I stand behind what he says 100%. In fact, he's so right in what he's so right in what he's saying that he got Chantal on board to even agree with him. And I have to say, Chantal was really nice. She came across as really friendly, really, uh, really personable. So you know, maybe she is like many people. It's just putting up a facade on YouTube. I don't know. It's not about that. But he's not lying in his videos. Now, now what is happening now is that. DMs are being published where somebody who I don't even know is apparently talking shit about me together with Miss Gold who is clearly actively trying to turn people against me because I'm such a horrible person. Why am I a horrible person? Where am I a hypocrite? Do I not lead the life that I preach? 
unlike you, do you lead the life you preach? No, you don't. Where's your fucking way in? We're still waiting for it. But publishing DMs of as a viewer who wasn't even a fan of mine, agreeing with you that what I said was inappropriate, a joke, a joke, I laughed at a joke, it wasn't even my fucking joke. That has, why, why, why do you think that's gonna bother me? I don't even know this person. People can talk shit about me if they want. I talk shit about people in DMs, that's what's happened. People talk shit. So, what, I don't understand what this, is, what this is accomplishing, except for the fact that you look like a bad person because you're not trustworthy. Because the second somebody disagrees with you, what's gonna happen is you're gonna release DMs. That's, what, that's the only thing that I'm taking away from this conversation. Now, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that are problematic with Charlie Gold. So what I will do for you guys is, I will link down below uh, Seat Dream Dream. She does a very good job at, or they, I don't know what, the, I don't know if it's he or she, they do a very good job at uh, covering things that are being said and putting it into perspective. I'm gonna link the Kate Winslet video down below for where uh, the dollar store Sith comment was made. It's funny, it's a joke. Go and watch her. Kate Winslet is very much, she does Hayden Nation as well as um, Anne Boleyn Reid, comment like uh, parody videos. She is, she is, Kate Winslet is just, it's a parody channel. Don't get so worked up over it. I will also, um, I will also link down below a fantastic video by Rose Analysis. This woman did a fantastic job of recapping the timeline, things that have been said, uh, challenges, vlogs, promised weigh-ins, um, just the hypocrisy, the lack of content in terms of providing, uh, providing commentary that's useful or beneficial. It's a very, very good video. I suggest you go and watch that now. If you want to go get more of a down low of so if you want to get more of a lowdown in terms of GoFundMe scams, driving without insurance, getting into car crashes, um, stuff like that, I will link the dedicated Kiwi Farms. I will link the dedicated Kiwi Farms thread down below. Yes, Charlie has a Kiwi Farms thread because she's such a nice person. Okay. Anyway, <sighs> now that's off my chest. Let's. Get in to the Amberlyn Reed react, shall we? Hey guys, so I wanted to be trans nervous about making this video, and if you guys are seeing it, it's because I had the balls to upload it. Um, it is Mother's Day. I am so just emotionally um, broken today. I I don't want to go into you know details why. I'm sure you guys can pro probably. So I don't really know too much about her background. I know she has had problems with her mother and it sucks. Like, it's, there is a lot that can be said for not having a proper mother or father figure in your life. There's been things in my past, my relationships with my family have not always been the greatest. I'm very grateful they are good now. This is why I don't really talk about my past because I don't want to hold things of my past against people. But they've definitely, but they definitely do help you shape as an adult and they kind of, it's very difficult to break free from it. You know, I'm very different from my brother and my sister because of the things we've been through, but I'm very, I'm very defiant. I've been always been very much doing my own thing. I've never really listened to people, so. Process why. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of emotional eating and I already know what's gonna happen because I have some food in front of me. So I kind of- I think if she would know knows in advance, she's gonna do emotional eating. She should try and eat things that are gonna be healthier. I'm sure you're not gonna get that same sort of hit. But for example, yesterday, so I'm trying to diet, I'm trying to cut, yes, I did that, I, diet, I dieted on uh, 1500 calories for six days, just to prove a point that you can lose weight without the gym. But I'm continuing my cuts. So I vlog everything, guys. Like I vlog five times a week with all my training, my diet, and all of that, because I'm very transparent. I don't hide anything. I have nothing to hide, but, if I, for example, yesterday, I was really tired, I was really moody, I was just not in the mood to cook. It's very warm in the UK at the moment. I'm a thoroughbred ginger. Heat does not sit well with me. So I ended up just getting a takeout, but takeout doesn't mean you have to eat pizza or McDonald's. What you can do is you can, well, I don't know, maybe not where you live, but <laughs> around where I live, what you can do is like you have things like Turkish food and Lebanese food, sort of more uh, Middle Eastern, that sort of cuisine. And a lot of that food is, it is marinated things like, uh, it's marinated cuts of lamb, 
chicken, fish, etc. And it's all grilled. And you can just eat that with salad. So that's what I had yesterday. I literally had a chicken shish kebab, which is marinated breast on a, with tabbouleh and some baba ganoush. And it was delicious and I just needed that, but it fitted into my macros perfectly. I didn't eat anything else. I was definitely eyeing up the baklava. I was definitely eyeing up the little pastries with the cheese and stuff, but I didn't get that. I just ate the grilled chicken and it pretty much would have been the same calories as I would have had. It just wasn't made by me. So you can, you can eat off track and still be healthy. I don't want to make this video to show you guys how it is for me on a day where I just do not care. I want to eat all my feelings. I want to binge. I feel possessed for the whole day. Like I don't care. Like I'm not myself. Kind of like I'm on the outside watching this. She. The thing is, though, she. I understand what she's trying to explain because I've I've been there. I used to have eating disorders, so I know what it's like to be in a binge. And it is like, you you become irrational. You kind of start eating and you cannot stop eating. I guess it's different for everybody else. For me, it's it was it was always just kind of triggered. It will be like uh, and it'd be like really dumb things as well. So I'll um, I'll for example have like one cookie, and then I knew I shouldn't have that cookie, and then I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, and I would just end up eating all of the cookies, and then I'd get guilt, and then I'd do whatever I thought rationally was the right way to get rid of that guilt. I don't do any of that anymore. That's, I, you know, thankfully not. But she, the fact that she's now talking about how she's going to do these things, that doesn't make sense to me. You're, when you're in that, it truly is almost like rational thoughts don't happen. And if you were to talk about them, because that's what I do. I do that in my vlogs sometimes. Like I'll talk about feeling fat. I know that I'm not fat, but I'll talk about it. And then me talking about how I'm feeling and putting words to my thoughts, it makes them less scary and less real. So the fact that she's doing this, but then still continuing on with for it, I'm, it just makes me think it's a troll basically in a very long winded way. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what that looks like for me. And it's unfortunate and it's kind of just what it is. So this is a what I ate today binge. I don't know what to call this. So. I'm gonna show you guys the first thing I'm gonna eat. Once I'll do is in edit, I'll try and do the calorie count. It won't be 100%, I'll probably be eyeballing things unless I can find the actual brand or the takeout, but if not, I'll just eyeball it. So I ordered Mexican food. Here are the chips, Mexican rice, and we have some tamales. Honestly, this looks freaking delicious. So I am super pumped and I'm gonna watch it. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a, like a plantain or something? It looks like a plantain or is it a pasta? TV show I eat this and numb all my feelings so here I go okay so this is how much I've left of this and the rice I did eat some chips so it has been no more than a minute since I stopped eating my food and I have candy I have Twix I have Snickers I have a caramel simply caramel Milky Way and a regular Milky Way wow so I will show you guys. It's kind of scary, isn't it, when you um, think about the amount of food that she's going to just go through there. I wonder if she's going to eat all of that chocolate. I can only imagine how horrible she's going to feel after that. It's quite sad. That is exactly how many I choose to eat. Um, each pack of these has six in them. So you guys will be able to tell how many I've eaten by how many are left. So I'm going to eat some of those. So, I ended up having fucking hell. She has six Twixes. Whew. All of the Twix. Um, this is the stage where I feel guilt. I honestly was feeling sick because I ate so much. The minute I started eating the Twix, I just kept doing it. Um, I was having guilt, and um, now I'm ashamed and mad at myself. And I wish I could take it all back. But as it's happening, you. You just can't control it. It is so. The one thing I don't, I do believe, she, I do think she has a um, underlying mental problem. This is part of the reason why I've also decided to change my tune in what I'm saying because when I was talking to the gaining ground with some of the things that were happening, I'm surprised by how well they're kind of handling the abuse they get. Let's face it: if one of these girls ever did some form of self harm, that's serious. You don't want that against you. But what I find difficult to understand is how she is able to 
talk about it so rationally in the moment of that's or just right after because that makes me think she's strolling and that it is staged i'm not saying that she doesn't have an eating problem i 100 believe she does you don't get to be that big if you don't but the fact that she is almost quite, quite casually talking about it after the fact that doesn't make sense to me but then i'm obviously not in her position but normally i would imagine from my personal experiences it's something that i can talk about but not necessarily right after it's maybe a few hours a few days after that i can go like yeah that was messed up by far one of the most frightening feelings in the world um and i'm documenting this because i feel like a lot of people on weight loss journeys struggle with this where they binge it doesn't mean they have a binge disorder but when you restrict yourself during a diet you're going to have stages where you do binge or you massively overeat yeah it happens this is partially why i do think i know some people don't agree with it but i do think that cheat days are or cheat meals are good because you can be good all week and then it allows you to once a week have that meal of your choosing without any form of guilt <laughs> the thing is it's just willpower and the more you do not give in to cravings the easier it gets trust me and it's also learning to replace unhealthy snacks with healthier snacks because a lot half the time it's just the, the sensation of eating and feeling full up yeah i get there is combinations of uh food combination of ingredients in there that give a certain dopamine release but you have to learn how to deal with these feelings when they come and also just suck them up i know that sounds really simple but that's it like i'm dieting i get hungry people think that dieting is easy dieting is not easy for anybody unless you're naturally just really slender but i have to i have to be really freaking hungry a lot of the time if i want to look a certain way but for me to look a certain way I'd rather have that, I'd rather suffer being hungry for than to not look that way. And I don't look that way all the time because I know it's very dangerous for my health. Not so very dangerous, it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy because I lose my period. You know, I get moody, it affects my sleep. So there's always pros and cons. Obviously, I'm talking about getting very lean, getting very low on body fat, which is not healthy for a female. She just needs to get into a healthy level of BMI. That will be a good start. No one is perfect. It just not how it happens um i'm not gonna say everyone does this but there's a large quantity of people and i hear people talk about it but i don't see people like truly dive into it and i want to see more of that i know it's sad to watch but in a way i feel like documenting it makes you like process it more because normally right now i would just continue watching my show and yes i would sulk and be super mad at myself and just be miserable but I really wouldn't dive into why I did it and my feelings behind it and I know why I did it I am processing why I did it and I know that that was only my first meal of the day and I think that's what kind of scares me I do have so this the leftover all right so this is the point where she's clearly coherent enough in her mental state to understand what she's doing is wrong and she's recognizing how it's making her feel and she's feeling guilty so this is where she should stop because eating more is just going to make her feel even worse and i don't think she will and i think i i mean like this is the sort of stuff that i find really fascinating from a psychology perspective because what is driving somebody to continue self-harming themselves essentially in this way and it's um you know you're already feeling bad what's making you to what's making her continue to feel even worse why do that to yourself it's um it's interesting because i didn't finish all the mexican food i'm just like so full and i just feel so disgusted with myself um <sighs> the regret is real and you guys are probably not going to see this for a long time because i'm gonna be scared to post it but reality is reality is this is what i'm going through today and you know as of right now in my thought process i don't want to eat for the rest of the day and this is what i do you know i'll binge and i'll be like okay i don't want to eat for the rest but the thing is though despite the amount of food she ate there if she didn't eat for the rest of the day she would still lose weight that's the reality because uh, her weight she's I, i'm gonna guess her maintenance is about three and a half thousand calories she probably ate around three maybe um so if she didn't eat anymore she could probably still lose weight if she ate more it would be a problem today and then oh i do and i eat, i eat a lot and uh I don't know it's such a bad 
just destruction. It's a complete destruction to my life. And I wish I could stop it. I wish I could control it more. But sometimes I'm just weak. And it's almost like sometimes I allow this to happen too. I don't know. It's a lot. But I will definitely keep you guys updated. Hey, so I have finally gotten ready for the day. That's why I look different. Um, So this is the stage in my day. This is like complete honesty in this video. I'm almost like a shame. I'm kind of, I don't know what to think about this video. I think it is good that she's documented it, documenting it, because it's interesting to watch. Um, it's just, it's good to document it, but what's next? What are you going to do to try and fix it? I think that's where I'm having a bit of a, uh, not a problem, but I'm trying to understand the purpose of the video. The purpose is to, and get, and is, the purpose is to, enlighten people of what she's going through great i get i get why she's doing it but what is she doing to make it better for herself that's the, also part of the conversation she should be having is that like i'm doing this but i'm going to try and do this do you see what i mean like does that make sense it makes sense in my head i'm embarrassed but it is what it is okay so this is the sage after the binge it's been a couple hours where you're like okay so i want to change my life i don't ever want to overeat again and so in my head i do these drastic measures where i'm like Okay, so what I'm uh, gonna here, do. Here we go. We're the, the, I literally just said about it and now she's doing it. <laughs> is I'm gonna stop eating everything processed. I'm just gonna eat simple things like chicken breast baked in the oven. I'm gonna have broccoli and veggies on the side and I'm gonna have like brown rice and just eat super clean. That is the stage that I'm at now. So hello. Um, and this is what I constantly and continuously do all the time. I might be down over 70 pounds, but these problems and these issues are still here and i feel like they're gonna be still here to stay but as long as i'm making continuous progress that's a good thing but uh yeah i think it's a, you know she is better off eating a chicken a healthy baked chicken afterwards if she's felt bad after a binge than continuing to binge a hundred percent currently right now in my brain i'm just like okay i really need to shape up i need to just eat clean and healthy and stop eating processed and i think i think the problem is is that it's all or nothing and this is why they have no diet success. They're either committing to, you can't commit too much to eating healthy, but they obviously have eating problems. So it's almost like they should do an 80-20 rule where 80% of their diet every day is healthy and then 20% is unhealthy. So for example, eat two and a half thousand calories. I can't do math, but 2000 calories of those two and a half thousand is healthy, 500 allow yourself snacks so you're kind of having that balance between all right i'm eating healthy for the most part i'm trying my best but i have this little something to look forward to to reward myself for having done a good job all right i don't necessarily believe in rewarding yourself but i think incentives like that are necessary for people like amber and foodie beauty as well because without that they're never going to succeed because they they're too addicted they either want everything or they don't want nothing and they fail because They'll do something drastic like eat 1200 calories a day i mean i was starving on 1500 calories a day i i was so freaking hungry a lot i was so freaking hungry because i eat around two and a half thousand calories a day that's where i normally sit two and a half to three thousand if i'm not cutting so for me to cut my calories quite literally in half it's intense so for her i know they do it on my 600 pounds life but I think they must in, calculate in that people are going to eat away from 1200 calories as well because they must be so hungry, so so hungry. So I don't, I would never recommend her to go on 1500 calories. I would probably stick her on two and a half thousand calories, maybe even 3000. 3000 calories clean or healthy. I don't really believe in the word clean because foods are not clean. They're clean if you wash them, but healthy. That is a lot of food. That's where I'm at right now. So we're gonna give that update. And obviously I'm not gonna like follow through on that because this happens all the time. And then I bet you in an hour I'll be like, actually no, never mind, I'll continue Weight Watchers. And then an hour after that I'll be like, actually let's go back to intuitive eating. That's my mind, that is my brain. And that's just... <laughs> this is why she needs to talk to people who are professionals and that understand how to work with her. Um, I think they need people that are there in person or inpatient. I, I don't know how that works, to be honest. But these people, um, they're mentally not strong enough and they don't have enough willpower to just do this on their own. Maybe one day, maybe they need to hit a certain rock bottom, rock bottom before they change their uh, mindset. But it's not there now. So it's almost like they have to be forced to change, have changes. I don't understand why she never, why she has stopped doing the Freshly because the Freshly was great for her. The food was te fairly tasty. It was calorie controlled. She could eat several meals and 
she would still not she would still not gain weight and she was eating real food it was whole food it was not processed she should she should just go back to freshly what i deal with every single day so it's been about i want to say about three hours since i last spoke to you guys i'm still feeling super sick from what i ate earlier i think it's just because i'm not used to that type of food because Honestly, back in the day, I could have ate even more. I decided I'm not going to be eating the leftovers that I had from the Mexican food because even just thinking about it was making me feel worse and nauseous. So I'm just going to throw it away. Um, I did end up taking a little bit of a nap. It was like 40 minutes. Felt pretty good. And then the weather woke me up because it got super windy. I thought a tornado was blowing through. So, And as you can tell, I've spent my whole day <laughs> in bed and I'm going to spend my whole night in bed as well. Um, the only thing I've drunk today, which is not good, is maybe half of this. And that is it. Diet drinks are not that bad. People give them a bad rap, but diet drinks really are not that bad. If a diet drink helps you stay on track, have your bloody diet drink. Drink water too, but if a can of co Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or whatever helps you stay on track on your diet, don't worry about it. I've had no water, nothing. And I can tell because it kind of feels like my kidneys hurt. And that usually happens if I drink too little or too much. So I'm probably going to be having some water here in a minute. Today is not good. Today is not good. And my mind is already back at... Okay, I'm just gonna do Weight Watchers. Everything's gonna be totally fine. I'm gonna continue Weight Watchers. I'm actually gonna follow through. Tomorrow's gonna be day number one again. That's my mind right now. That is my mind. And that's just what I go through. Every day, all day. Okay, not every day. It used to be every day, but. It's better that she has those thoughts about considering picking it up than not at all. It's not anymore. What is it, baby girl? Oh yeah? Are you speaking to mama? Anyways, <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear my cat. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go cuddle her. Okay, you guys, so. The next thing I'm eating, and before anyone says anything, yes, I changed my clothes again because I filmed another video. Sometimes I'll film like three, four videos a day, just depending on my mood. Sometimes I'll just film one, but I always make sure to change. <laughs> she's just missing the trolling here. <laughs> uh, so at least she's clever enough to change her outfit. Change my clothes if I remember to, because I don't want to be wearing the same thing in every video, but I had to get something off my chest. You I guys like her hair. Or we'll be seeing that. Who knows? So next thing I'm having is a whole box of the pasta roni. It is an angel hair pasta with herbs flavor. It is a whole... That's a lot of freaking pasta. Jesus. Whole, literally. A whole bowl. And right now... Pasta is so calorie dense as well. I'm not a big fan of pasta, luckily. But um, yeah, stuff like that is just... It's probably the worst things you can have when you're trying to diet. Oh, this is more so like an emotional eating moment because I'm frustrated because of the, the video I just had to film frustrated me and let's see this food gonna make me feel better it will not that's the thing and she knows it as well it will not make you feel better it will make you even feel worse it make it will make you feel worse even worse afterwards sorry I couldn't English for a second it is realistically it is mm, I already feel better and that's emotional eating for you and a food addict okay I'm also gonna have another diet coke I drank a little bit of water earlier. Well, it wasn't enough, but I drank it a little bit. It always amazes me when people don't drink a lot of water. Oh, sorry. Because I drink four liters a day. I really notice a difference if I only have two liters. I get extremely headachy. I'll have more water later. I'm having some major heartburn. I feel like it's from the chocolate. And in this moment. Nah, it's going to be from the fast food, I would imagine. It's really greasy. I don't care. I'm telling myself I'm still going to have more chocolate later. This video is so honest. But I'm telling you guys literally my thought process on everything. My next thought process is I'm about to go to my bedroom, stuff my face with this, have candy, which I'll show you. It's kind of sad really because this is, it is almost like somebody is, um, you know, looking for a fix. She's like chasing the dragon if you like, but you know, she's not ever going to get the feeling that she's looking for. While watching one of my favorite TV shows. So, and that excites me. So I am about to have some of these Snickers. I'll let you know how many I have. And by the way, they are just the fun size. I mean, just for people curious, for one of them is 80 calories, which I haven't shared calories on anything today, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea. Well, I will see some calories there, 500 so, something. That's that. So the next thing I'm having, it's been- More freaking pasta, jeez. And mm, I'll say about- Ah, uh, that pasta is <clears throat> just, but pounds on the calories. Four hours since I last ate, and I'm having just pasta with some melted butter and garlic salt. And then I'm also gonna have this Nestle vanilla fudge drumstick. So that's all I'm about to have now. 
so that is everything that I ate for the day. Um, it was a lot of overeating. Wow. A lot of not caring. My stomach hurts. It's kind of crampy. Um, I bet. Yeah. Uh, regret in full swing. But I did what I did. Um, I showed you every drop of food I put in my mouth. <sighs> I don't know if I want to upload this. Woo! But honesty is honesty, right? Um, that's all I yeah. want in my journey is... You can, she, some people should take a note out of her book in regards to honesty. To show you guys really what I'm struggling with. And I think the hardest part is like, when I show things like this, I am brutally judged and attacked and abused in the comments. And then when I don't share things like this, I am attacked again in the comments for not being honest in my journey. So it's like, no matter which way I do it, I am attacked. No matter, no matter what. So I'm attacked already. So might as well just show true colors. No, uh, that's scary. But anyways, um, yeah, that's that. I'm going to end this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be going to sleep here in a little bit and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right. So that is that done. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting to see. It's interesting to see what she binges on, because the food she binges on is like, it's not particularly nice, is it? Like, I don't think so anyway, but that's just my personal preference. I get where she's coming from with doing this, and yeah, I do appreciate your honesty. I wonder how often she has days like this. I'm very curious to see what the calorie count is going to be, but she needs to try and more focus on how she feels afterwards, and not so much on the temporary dopamine fix that she's going to get because I guarantee she's going to feel awful for the rest of the night she's probably not going to be able to sleep very well which means that the next day she's going to be more like more inclined to overeat because when you're tired you want to eat more and it becomes just this vicious cycle anyway guys uh, I'm going to go I'm going to make myself some breakfast edit this video and then I'm going to go outside in the sunshine train some legs and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of my day so Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine as well. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.